Milwaukee's MX Fuel Equipment System revolutionizes the light equipment market by delivering the performance and durability demanded by the trades. From the MX Fuel cutoff saw to the MX Fuel tower light, MX Fuel has you covered without the hazards associated with emissions, noise, vibrations, and the frustrations of petrol maintenance. MX Fuel Equipment System, equipment redefined. Attention sports fans, planning an overseas trip to catch your favorite games? Look no further than sports where I am. They've got it all. League schedules, trustworthy tickets, and over 200 cities to choose from, all conveniently on one website. Plus, as an Australian company, they know the importance of great customer service for those long haul journeys. So visit sportswhereiam.com and start planning your dream sports trip today. Sports Where I Am, your ticket to an unforgettable sports travel experience. Righto, let's get into the show. How are we, boys? <laughs> really good, mate. So mate. Yeah, good. Jeez, hard not to talk to you when I want to just get around you, but got to save the material. Exactly. Oh, right. mate. We've got a few stories today, <laughs> surely. Yeah, well, you got, you're starting after the weekend. You said you're going to create one for us. No, oh, no. There wasn't, wasn't anything too bad. I was well behaved on the weekend, unfortunately. But um, <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll be out and about soon, mate. No, I'll, I'll have one. <laughs> Thursday night. Do you guys get the most Thursday night games or what? Thursday, Fridays, you reckon? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a bit annoying in the past. Is it annoying on the schedule? Yeah, because well, because you have to train the Sunday, Sunday, yeah, Sunday before, so you know, like yeah, everyone yeah. else is out. Yeah, everyone's in Europe. Yeah, everyone's away um, now, and we just sit there and watch on Instagram. But- How's the Europe Instagram content going? Oh. Is like because it's probably the one thing that kills you when you're playing yeah. footy. You, you can't. You, you just got no choice to just oh. sit back and watch everyone. Oh, that's something we'll miss out on. Unfortunately, playing footy. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard to watch as well on Instagram. Now, mate, I'm going to Croatia, and yeah. and for everyone out there, this podcast will be out, but I'll be coming home by the time it's out. But what's your number one tip, like, in Croatia? Well, where would you go? Oh, yeah. Because I've got being no Croatian, idea, man. I've, Yeah, I know. Well, you'll be, I think you're going to split, right? Split on a, on Yacht Week, and yep. then we go to Dubrovnik yep. for two nights, yep. and that's it. So where am I going in Dubrovnik? Is there any place for dinner? Is it like a, I think the, 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 yeah. the Yacht Week sounds like it's all taken care of. Yeah, well, that's actually a tough one. I haven't been back to Dubrovnik well, in the summer since I was a teenager, unfortunately. But to be honest, you can't go wrong with the food there. I mean, just follow the crowd as well going out. I'm pretty sure you'll be fine, especially coming off your week. Maybe a few rallies over there, mate. You can. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. Get over there for dinner. Well, I'm pretty sure they're all tall and probably named Devan as well. So. <laughs> Is Devan a common name? Yeah, it's probably one of the top three, yeah. So I'm going to roll, I'll, I might roll with that, Ivan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ivan, Ivan. Marco, heaps of Marcos as well. What is the one thing that pisses you off the most? Like when you when you see the Instagram stories, I, I'd imagine it's an Instagram story, the one location you just go, oh, I'd love to be there. I'm not sure. I reckon just the party on Ibiza would be pretty cool. Yeah. Just, just give that a go The once. good weather, party, like beach club vibes, yeah, DJs, and the fact that we know we can't do it, yeah, until yeah. we're not playing footy, that's that hurts. And the you most. get over there, and like, hopefully October, and it's just it's not the same, is it? It no, starts no. to get a bit cooler. Yeah. It's not as busy. Yeah. After 2019, I went overseas to Europe, and yeah, exactly what you're saying. It was just dead. Yeah, yeah. The, the, everything had just finished. All the last boats were in. It all docked, and I'm thinking, oh, shit, I've come the wrong time, yeah. I feel like this year's the first year. I don't know whether we're getting older, but, like, everyone's there. Yeah. yeah. Is that just because everyone's just been banking up the travel or? Oh, yep. It must be, yeah. Because I can't remember, or obviously COVID, but before then I can't even remember everyone. Maybe I was younger and yeah. people yeah. couldn't afford it yet, but yeah. everyone's over there. Having a ball, too, by the looks. I love uh, talking travel. Have you boys, where have you boys been around the world? Like, what's the what's your favourite place you've been to? Have you been able to travel much? Uh, I went when I was younger. I went to the States would be the biggest joint when I was younger. How old um, you I was 15, so I'm yeah. dying to go back. Yeah. Um, get out. You'd be, you a, Bali, you'd be a Bali. Oh, I'd go to Bali. You? Yeah, that's that's good fun. I love love getting on the scooter, fanging around, <laughs> going to the beach clubs, beers all day. You yeah. know, that's my, my type of setup. I haven't been to Bali for, for oh, I think, 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Started there and then I I've, I've kind of like in my own head upgraded. upgraded I went to yeah. Bali. Yeah. I went Thailand and I'm like, okay. Yeah. And then it was like sta- 21 states, yeah. Yeah. fell in love with it. Yeah. And then snuck Europe in a couple of years, like, mm. you know, after the states. But I'm in love with the states. Yeah. 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 Where do you like, m- like most? I reckon I was having this chat the other day with someone. LA originally. Yeah. But since COVID, there's, a lot of people have slowly moved out. They reckon. I just think New York, if you were going to go over there, because it's such an effort. Yeah. If you plonk yourself in New York for two weeks, yeah. you've got everything at your disposal. 
It's a bit colder. Yeah, yeah. So that's why maybe a Vegas trip at the start. Like you go Vegas. In and out of Vegas. Yeah, yeah. in and out. So like three nights Vegas. Make sure I get like the Friday, Saturday go hard. Mm. Sunday's football day. So I haven't done this. I've always wanted to do this. They've got all those like pools and they put all the NFL on the big screen. Yeah. Like a pool party. Yeah. So it's like everyone's in the pool just drinking and all like, you know, the UFC or the NFL. I don't know what the beach club is. Mm. Or the- public. Oh, well, whatever it is. It's it's something. Yeah. Yeah. And then- um. Get out on Monday. And then yeah. if you go to New York, at least you've had some sun. Yeah. I reckon that's yeah. the trip. Yeah. You can't do Vegas for- Nah. Well, nah. you can. I've got mates that say you can. Campbell Brown reckons you can do it for two weeks. Oh. What? <laughs> It'd just be the same place the whole time. Yeah. Mm. No, I've heard two two nights, maybe three, then get out of there. You guys do footy trips though. You guys are one of the clubs that are pretty good at that. Yeah. I was I was a big push for- Oh, the States is hard because it's, you know, over 21. But oh, 18-year-olds oh, can't go, yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, I'd love to go over there or Cancun. I was a big push for Cancun this year. Oh, yeah. Mix it up a bit. But, Cancun's um, good. Didn't get much traction. I think everyone thought it was a bit dangerous. Yeah, That's a bit dangerous. Thing. But, uh, you just did Thailand last year though, didn't you? Yeah, we've done yeah. it three times actually. Yeah. That's an effort though, wouldn't it, Thailand? Is that an effort to get uh, there? I think it's like an eight-hour flight. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like Bali would be good, but it's too too many Aussies. Like that would be good fun with all the clubs over oh, there, like beach is, clubs. But too many Aussies. It's like staying in Melbourne, mate. It's like a it's like CQ, but in Bali. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I reckon when I was there, like years ago, I just couldn't believe how many yeah. boys are there. Yeah, we haven't locked it in this year that yet. So any suggestions? Who's the? Uh, yeah, I think Cancun's definitely one that you should do. Yeah, um, it's not dangerous, is it? Nah. No. You can read the stories, but no, nah, we'll be right. Yeah. yeah. The boys are well stories. behaved. What are yeah. the good stories you got? Yeah, there's great yeah. stories. <laughs> yeah. There's no journos over in Cancun. Yeah. If they are, they're with you. Their phone's down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they know the drill. Um, yeah, no, no, I think Cancun's good. A lot of places all inclusive. Yeah. So when when I was I've been I was there just recently in Jan, but I was on my own. It was pretty grim actually. I don't I'll never do that again. I yeah. was trying to get some detox in between like after so we went Vegas, Mexico and I was like, <laughs> get me the fuck away yeah, from everyone. Awesome. But I just down like been on my own. I thought I'd just do like five nights and just cleanse. And it was, nah, it wasn't it. But when I was there with a few boys, when I was younger, I think I was 21 or two, um, we had a good crew, six of us and stayed at a hotel, all inclusive in Cancun. And then at the hotels, they're like, right. Oh, like they, they take you to the clubs with like this, the person that there's a guy that's like job is to, pretty much get the people at the hotel and take them to the nightclubs, set them up in a booth yeah. and then away you go. And you just do that every night. And the guy that works at the hotel will just tell you like what club well, is humming yeah. tonight. They pretty yeah. much organise on the strip. They're like, righto, Tuesday night, Coco Bongo, yeah. Wednesday night, whatever the name is. And then you just do that. Yeah. And if you're with a group of 40, probably I'd imagine 25, 30. Yeah, we yeah. get good numbers at our footy yeah. trips. Like, yeah. All inclusive, so you literally wake up food yeah. as much as you want, and yeah. you don't eat like you don't need that much drinking flat out, like yeah. in no, the this, pool. This is the inside info yeah. we need, mate. Oh, but, yeah, so. who's the um, who's the leader of the social committee? Who's got like the final approval? Well, Broadie's been organising it most years. Oh, Broadie be all over yeah. Cancun, wouldn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, I think yeah. his attitude sort of changed the past couple of years. Yeah, he's a yeah. he's, uh, he's a married man, but married father but, soon. Yeah, soon to be. It's exciting. Um, yeah. But Grimesy as well. Is on board with it. He's yep. trying to get boys, as many boys as possible, but it's just hard to pick a location. Nah, yeah. Cancun's good. Yeah. yeah. It's not too, I like, why do they reckon it's dangerous? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Just read a few articles about yeah. blokes, blokes going missing in body bags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. well, there's always a risk. <laughs> yeah, there's a risk. Anyway. Oh, I keep saying, yeah. people dying in Preston, mate, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, I reckon you're, uh, in a big crew like that, you'd be safe as houses. Yeah. yeah. Cancun's like, you know, it's busy. It's more yeah. about where are we? It sits the past. I can't even say it. We're two and a half hours inland from my mate JK's wedding. Yeah. And that was when um yeah, there was a bit of that going. I got a message from the government saying, get out, like you're oh, in a yeah. red zone. But oh, I couldn't get out. Like I was stuck in this wedding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, but you're safe as houses, as long as you're yeah. not an idiot and walking yeah. down the street like yelling out shit. Yeah. Like we were stuck in the hotel. Yeah. Um, but definitely wouldn't go. That was Mexico City, mind you. So that was yeah. like yeah. that was a different experience. Mm. But yeah, Cancun, or what, what other location? Okay, let's say they go, nah, not Cancun. They're saying Thailand again for a fourth time. Oh, that's what they're thinking. And I, fourth yeah, time? In, yeah. You can't go that's Thailand not, four years in a row. Well, my thing with Cancun, like you can, we go there for a bit, have a good, you know, it could be a bit longer this time. And um, and then afterwards, if you want to go past the States or something, mm. go do that. And then everyone gets it. You know, you meet up over there and maybe Vegas a few weeks later or something like that. We get get around the boys in a different yeah. uh, different country. Oh, that's my thing. I but reckon that's a smart idea. The 18-year-old boys wouldn't want much longer anyway. They'd just get up a week. Yeah. yeah. 
they can go part. They can still go to America. They just can't go out. Yeah. So there's, there's, always that, there's always a way. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, otherwise Thailand again, but can't go too much further. Like Europe's a big trip. So yeah, I know. people want to, people want to go to Europe, but when it comes to the cost and the 30 hour flight, you know, for a little footy trip, it's probably, probably yeah. a bit too far. Yeah. Essendon did it last year. That's impressive. Yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah. You wonder why they're going well. Yeah. Exactly. I Culture. always say this. I, I used to say it's little things like that. Mm. You might be branded as, oh, these guys are loose. They're not loose. Everyone's doing it. You're just not yeah. seeing it. If you get it well organized, yeah. keep a lid on it, yeah. you know, just have a good time. Mate, how, how funny is it? Like all the young, all the young quiet guys, all of a sudden they're the funniest yeah. blokes the next year because yeah. they've come out of their skin. Next minute they're playing games. Yeah. Mate, you don't see it. We weren't allowed to do it. Like, I don't no. think we were allowed to do it. Obviously, we probably would have fucked up, but. Yeah. Every time they did do one, they everyone just harped on about how good the footy trip was. Yeah, and the first first like uh, first timers on footy trip are often they're in the votes. You know, the yeah. best on. Yeah, yeah. You see the good uh, the good side of them out out having a few beers and it's funny when you, um, yeah. you come back to start a preseason. Oh, how about you on footy? Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Best stories. Like, it's the talk, talk of like the whole, is, yeah. whole year or half the yeah. year yeah. is just like the stories. Yeah, and then you're going well. Where are we going next year? Yeah, I feel like when you get older, you start to just like. I don't know, I think about like Mad Mondays and that and you're just like, oh, I can't be fucked. Yeah. But when you're younger, you're like, yeah, I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> Have a crack. Like, like, yeah. Aaron Sandland <laughs> tells me to drink, I'm drinking. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get older, you're like, come on, Spine, I can't be fucked. <laughs> yeah. make, make the other bloke do it, you yeah, know? Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. That's, yeah, well, if it's not Cancun, Thailand, and is there any other options? I think um, they were saying somewhere in Australia, but we're still undecided. Like on Byron where, or something. Yeah, they were thinking Byron or something, but. See, so, Byron used to be like, you you know, I guess Sydney exclusive, news. no one would know. Like yeah. everyone goes, yeah. It's like everyone goes in it. Mate, what about Sydney voice? Yeah. Oh, oh mate, we oh. could go to Sydney. Yeah. Always, Sydney. Like, I know exactly where to go. Sydney trip. Yeah. How much do you love Sydney? Like, I know you guys well enough and we know that you love Sydney, but not many other clubs would fly up to Sydney as much as you boys. Yeah, we've got yeah, frequent fly points yeah. to and from Sydney. What do you love about Sydney? I don't know. It's just the uh, having a good beach for one and just being on the water, but I don't know, just – not really footy state as well, footy city. Yeah. So you can just sort of muck around and no one really cares. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like that. It'd be the complete opposite to like my personality, Sydney, you know, real nice, nice uh, dinners and stuff when we yeah. go, nice joints. But I love the uh, Coogee Pav on the water, mate. Oh. The Watson's Bay, we had a good day. Yep. Not on the water. I like drinking on on the water and then yeah, that's what we did. It's not about the water, time. isn't it? The water. Yeah. 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 You'd know being in WA, but like yeah, exactly. when you're on a boat it's, and it's you're different. looking on the water. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, could you? Could you? I was just going to say, name your favourite places. Could you, Pav? <laughs> yeah, I don't reckon we've had a bad night there. <laughs> no, the missed. last time we were there, actually, we can talk about this. Yeah. We were together, and <laughs> you both dogged me. And I'm like, where are you? It's kicked out because Bakes is on your shoulders. <laughs> oh no, 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 it wasn't me. Bakes was on Nashi's shoulders. Oh, yeah. Nashi's yeah. shoulders. Yeah, that's right. Because on your shoulders, I was, I was still there. You were still there, so we yeah. lost them still boys. Taller. Yeah. Me and Nashi are stacked up. And- well, it looks like someone's on my shoulders. But- yeah. Yeah. they are strict there, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Nah, even getting in that that night, I reckon they were, you know, the, the bouncers are light there. They're happy to kick you out with for yeah. anything. Uh, it's, you got to get there early in those places, and then yeah. once you're set, you got your table, yeah. and then the crowd just comes rushing yeah. in for dinner. Yeah. It's all about where you are as well. Oh. Sitting down, you're big on that, aren't you? Yeah, I'm always like, find the best spot. Maybe <laughs> yeah. best real estate in the venue. Best real estate, no. key. Yeah, like big table. Fun. Big table, just enough chairs. But not too many that people keep asking, hey, can we have that chair? It's like, no, no, no. Is there? Yeah. yeah. Not far from the dance floor, you know. But yeah, close to the bar. Like up. central yeah. to mm. not outside as well, not in the sun, but nah. just just like next to it. Yes, exactly. And that's exactly where we put ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> what else did you just love about Sydney? Because I've obviously been there for a bit, but anything else, any other places you went, maybe even during the day? Oh, we had a bit of a routine going there for a oh, bit. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, we did actually. We just <laughs> Get up, go to the slab, yeah, have brekkie on the way. You know, the. What's the slab? Clavelli, Clavelli. Yeah, the, 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 the big concrete slab. Oh, yeah, the yeah. slab. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, Clavelli slab. the actual where the beach is yeah. 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 on the concrete. Yeah, that's yeah. the best. No sand. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. The slab. That's yeah. great. Yeah, do some backflips, get in there, yeah. freshen up, walk back. Talk to about that. the night before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then <laughs> yeah, yeah great deep. memories and yeah. do it again. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, not many, not much food was eaten early, but then <laughs> nah. we had enough Yeah, on the beach and then went had a breakfast, another debrief, chat. See who made the who made the trip. Yeah, some people still a bit. <laughs> Few votes from the night before. Oh, massive! Yeah, massive on the boats. Give, give everyone an insight to the um crew. Who's the crew like uh, in this Sydney? Like if you if everyone could make it, that you'd be up there with. Well, uh, the first year I didn't go. The second, last New Year's first year was me, Canby, Dion, Solo, 
And then Naishi, Naishi came a couple of days later, but Naishi brought the energy, as yeah. you know. Oh, Naishi brings some <laughs> yeah. energy, mate. Yeah, he does. Um, that was, uh, yeah. And then we just ran into people as well. What Big Bruzzy was up there. Yeah, yeah. Hit you were up there. We saw you. Tell yeah, me. good crew. Yeah. yeah. I got COVID up there, actually. This is twenty. This is 2020? Into 2021, yeah. 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 Yeah, no, all the way around. So 2021 into 2022. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, then all the Giants boys, because they live in Clare Valley. Yeah. Big yeah. shout out. Iden looked after the house party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I think great. I cleaned that up. No worries. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah, that was right. good. Yeah. Oh, we should do that again every year. Sydney, just New Year's. I reckon New Year's is always a letdown, except for yeah. that year, because yeah. it was unplanned. And we're like, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. you're here. You're here. Yeah. All right, let's all just do our thing and have a house party. Bang. And next minute, there's 100 people there. Yeah. Well, the, that year we were really stressed because we went to Ravisi's. And it was a Friday night, and it would have been the 30th of December, and it was a ghost town. And we're oh. looking at each other like, oh no, <laughs> we should have gone somewhere else. Oh, yeah, because you booked all your yeah, flights in the com. We're here for five Co- nights. COVID had wiped everyone out, Sydney out pretty much. So we're like, oh, no, it's, it's all good. It'll yeah. pick up. Just It'll pick be up. Be patient, please. Be <laughs> yeah. patient. Where was the next night, the 31st? I think we went back to. Oh, sorry. Maybe it was 29th, and then 30th, we were there. And that's when it started picking up. Yeah. Well, Banks and I were the only ones there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone else is doing couples things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's yeah. different. You, you can't let that them. one go, can you? Nah, I'm still off, <laughs> still off the boys for that trip. Holding grudges. Ravisi's is good. Good feed. Ravisi's um, a cracker spot. Yeah. yeah. What else was a good feed just near there? Um, the the Italian toddies. joint. Yeah, toddies. Toddies. Oh, toddies grouse. Yeah. 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 You boys are pretty much. And then did you go to icebergs for a, for like a swim and a sauna? You get to go actually. No, I haven't oh, been. That's heaven. Yeah. Cafe there as well. Yeah. Talk Where's about that? Bondi. Yeah, just on the corner, icebergs. You'd see everyone taking a photo. You know the pool? The pool on the, on the oh, rocks? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Go there for a sauna. Yeah, right. And a, um, bit well, you don't really. Brighton bath set up, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but just on steroids. Yeah, yeah. There you go, Sydney. Yeah. Well, I think you got to get the Cancun over the line with them. Um, I mean, Brody would be great to get approval of. I reckon yeah. we could call him now and just yeah. <laughs> say, mate, come on. Come on. Yeah. And how many, so how, what's the process? I actually, I love this shit. So, before we move on, you've all you've put your case forward, Cancun. Some people are kicking back, maybe too dangerous. That's fine. But where is it a vote? Or is it mm. Brody and Grimesy go, nah, well, we're gonna make a you know executive decision. They weigh up the cost of things. Like what yeah. who where how do you get the final say? And when is the final say? Because so, you guys are in a position like every team, like you don't know whether you're going to play in a granny or you're going to get knocked out in an elimination or a prelim or whatever. So you don't really know. So you're kind of aiming for October. Yeah. So then it's like, where are we going? Well, there was a vote and Europe won the vote. Europe won. But yeah. the costing of that probably will. That way, yeah. yeah. The votes are just, yeah. Is but, that, so most of the older guys voted for Europe? Uh, I don't know, actually. Was it like, it a, you know, the, the surveys, you don't see the- Anonymous. Oh, yeah. What was, the, what, was the, what was the vote count on it? Oh, I'm not know. too sure. I didn't, yeah. get, I didn't get the data, but it would be good nice to go to Europe, obviously. But yeah. from there, so there'll be 30-some blokes, I reckon, that will want to go on footy trip regardless of where it is. But now it's trying to find the funds, which is like- the hardest part because we're trying to do boys get the medals out get the- <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're thinking now yeah. if you're listening <laughs> how many and medals you, you, how many medals you've got? you want to fund the footy trip <laughs> <laughs> there's a few between the whole team there's worry. a lot of medals getting yeah. around you can yeah. donate one actually there's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plenty of tin just get rid of it yeah. Like, yeah. just weighing us down that could get you to Ibiza we stayed at Ushuaia like next they probably shouldn't have done that me and yeah. me mate were just reckless like let's stay at that best joints yeah. mate Ushuaia is like the loudest and biggest nightclub there and we're like let's stay there and couldn't get a wink of sleep not that you sleep much anyway but it was just yeah. like, doof, doof. and you, you go to bed at like, I don't know, I won't say, but late, yes. early. Yeah. And, well, then, early yeah. and then when you're trying to get to sleep, it's back on at 11 again. So yeah. you're like, doof. you're like, I can while we staying here. Yeah. But that's a great place for a footy trip, I reckon, Ibiza. Is yeah. it Ibiza or Ibiza? What do you I think, say? I think it's- yeah. Ask him, mate. It oh. depends, it depends how cultured you are, I Okay, guess, well, I'm cultured, really but I'm care. there, but not in Australia. Yeah, so I don't really care. So <laughs> Ibiza. Za is fine. I think just the way like people pronounce Barcelona. So like maybe it'd be Ibiza. 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 So Ibiza. It's a yeah. good one. Is it Ibiza or Ibiza? I just I'd love to know. Geordie's, Geordie Shaw went there and they called it Ibiza. So I'm sticking with Ibiza. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Geordie Shaw is good. Actually, Mallorca. I went down to them um, when I was there. Mallorca, another island off uh, next to Ibiza. And um, what was it called? Like Magaluf. Yeah. Magaluf Madness. Remember that on Jersey, oh, Jersey no. Shore? Oh, mate. It was on, it? Oh, it's just a little island. All these pommies just go there and just get wiped out. Yeah, right. It's exactly what I thought it would be. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And just like people just getting blind all day. And oh, it's actually pretty scummy down there. I wouldn't, we rode our bikes there and we're like, fuck, oh, this is full on. <laughs> <laughs> These are things that we, we just can't do. I just, yeah. Well, you could do it. it. I did it in, it's different I did that one in, I did that one in off season, but okay. it wasn't peak. 
Yeah, yeah. It yeah. died down a little bit. Okay, so let's say I gave you a week. Let's say I gave you a week before we get over the travel stuff because we're, we're smashing yeah. this topic and I love yeah. it. If I give you a week now, it's August. So you get a week to go over, freshen up the body, and yeah. then the last Rest few up. rounds and then finals, where are you going? And you're allowed to drink as much piss as possible. Yeah. The more piss you drink, yeah. the better you play is the is the hypothetical here. I'd probably go Croatia. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. In no August. bias. Yeah. Um, First week of August. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, probably be Europe. Yeah, but um, like whereabouts in Europe? Probably Ibiza. Yeah, oh, I'd, yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd Google what's the best party joint. Yeah, you can go there. Well, you can't lose there. Yeah, exactly. It'd probably be that. But like, well, places in Eastern Europe are pretty good for partying as well. Like, could go Germany, Prague, somewhere. In yeah, I've heard Prague's good. Yeah. Oktoberfest. Have you guys done that yet? No, no. yeah. Oh, that's what you should do for the footy trip. I was that was, I was uh, so that would be the best. Europe. Yeah, yeah. That was what. That's what I would do. Mate, that was, that's the best. That's one of the best things I've ever done. And it doesn't get hyped like, you know, Ibiza is massive. You probably build it up. Be like Vegas. You build it up. You get there and you're like, it's good. It is great. It's amazing, Vegas. But you see it. You hear it. You you build this thing inside your head like it's the best night of your life. We all know the best nights are the ones you don't plan and all this random shit happens. And that's kind of like Oktoberfest. You just yeah. get there and it's just a scene. Yeah. Everyone's dressed the same. <laughs> You're trying to put down the steins. Yeah, like, the you, big- you'd be like me, like we're a bit skinnier and smaller. <laughs> yeah. Like the big boys are putting down some steins, but yeah. they go down They go down hard, the big boys. It's better overseas as well. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it tastes way better. No hangovers, I heard. No hangover, man. Yeah. No, nah, no hangover. Yeah. Maybe no stress as well. Like yeah. you're not yeah. playing yeah. footy or working the next week. Yeah. You're just getting up and going yeah, again. Go again. <laughs> Is it a whole week? Or is it? I think we did three or four night days, yep. but I think it goes in weeks. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, that'd be huge if we went. Mate, we got there the first. The, we did it so wrong the first day. The first day we got there, me and my mates, because you got to line up. Yeah, it's a bit like the um the the golf in Phoenix, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Waste management when yeah. they open their gates and everyone just sprints. You've seen that clip? No, nah, no. Nah. Oh, like they open their gates and everyone sprints to get a good pole position on yep. the main hole where they throw all the you know all the drinks and that. Yep. Same thing. So there's all these special tents. There's all there's heaps of tents. Mm. The one that we didn't know anything about it. There's like the main tent where they like, you know, whatever you call them, the, the main person, call it like the commissioner or whatever of Germany. Yeah. He like opens up the ceremony and rings this bell or whatever from memory. We didn't know. But everyone was running to that. So we just ran with them. And the doors are locked for like two hours, but you're just getting to the front of the door. So then when they open the doors to get in, we had no idea, but everything was booked. So every oh, seat yeah. in there was reserved, oh. bar the ones around the back. Yeah. And we had no idea. So like once the gates open, this is like two hours later. So we were lining up at 5am and mind you, like it's a long time waiting for two, three hours or two hours just yeah. standing on like yeah. the street. You can buy alcohol from the servo though. So, you know, you're drinking beers all morning, yeah. just lining up. Gates open, but the crowd was like, Mate, there was people like screaming and I remember there was like a, a lady like near me like crying because like the, the crowd was uncontrollably moving because yeah. of the pressure from behind. It yeah. was pretty dangerous. It's like Friday sales. Yeah. Mate, it was <laughs> random. And then anyway, they open the doors and everyone goes in and turns out, mate, we've, we've been lined up since five. There's no tables in there. Mm-hmm. And then we, we thought, oh, we'll wait around for the ceremony. And then when we come out, all the other tents were already full. So what'd you do? So you had to go like a beer garden outside and then we ended up sneaking in a couple. Yeah, yeah. But then the There's next day we nailed it. The next yeah. day we were in like the main one. There's like a special tent. Everyone out there listening would know that's been, there's like an Aussie and New Zealand tent. That's the main one. Yeah. So that's something like that. Like get to, it's a footy trip, but then like you get a good experience as well. Well, know? then you can go out after. Yeah. If you can, if you can go, like sometimes <laughs> you're like, it's like the races, you know, when you're just <laughs> fucking knackered. Yeah. Like you've been going since 10 and you're like six o'clock, you're blind. Yeah. You still find a way. You find a way. <laughs> yeah. You always find a way. But, um, I reckon it's October a dip, you know. Yeah. And then you. I reckon Oktoberfest. Yeah. I reckon you should put that to Brody. I will push it. I should push it. I'd love to go. But yeah, I've been to Oktoberfest here in Australia, so I do want to go to have that vibe, and I'm happy for yeah. it. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind it. Big leader housing. I remember getting all that stuff. While we're on topics, we've got our um boys. We've got our you know one of our major sponsors here, Sports Where I Am. I've got a little segment for you. Essentially, we're talking about America here, but when you go overseas and you book your tickets to sporting events. These are the guys that you want to be doing it with. Aussie guys, trustworthy, vetted tickets, Australian customer service, the best. So play a little game with you. I'm going to pull one of these upside down. Let's go one more. Righto. So in these cards, there's four locations. So you tell me when to stop, lads. Here you go. Stop. Stop. Okay. Houston. Here we go. Now what's on this card, lads? These are the options in Houston when you go to sports where I am. You've got the WWE Raw at Toyota Center. That's you, Houston Dash. You've got 
the Texas A&M, Houston Rockets, Houston Astros, if you like your MLB, obviously the Rockets, NBA. You got the Houston Dynamo FC, if you like a little bit of soccer. Houston Texans in the NFL. And then the NCAA basketball, Houston Cougars. Okay, the game here is to pick one of these each. Which one would you go to if you both were there and you woke up and I gave you a voucher from Sports Ram? Which one would you pick? What sports do you like? And um, I'll probably say NBA would be the one I like the most there, but I'm weighing up the old – I don't really watch WWE, but I'm thinking that would be, be, yes. be a pretty good time in the crowd there. Yeah. The Raw would be an experience yeah. at the Toyota Center there in, <laughs> in Houston. I reckon when you're on when you're on vacation and no, no one would know who you are with their bakes, so you could really let yeah. go in the crowd. You could probably carry on a bit as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely. Okay, um, Raw for you, WWE. What about you, Soldo? Oh, he's still one. I would have said Raw. Okay, I'm thinking, um, what was that, Dynamo, the soccer game? Houston Dynamo FC. I wouldn't mind watching some, yep. Yeah. Soccer? So you go soccer? Yeah, I'd go soccer, yeah. Are you a big soccer man? Yeah, I love my soccer. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Well, if Messi's playing, I think, you know, Miami, yeah, then that could there. be yeah. that could be the go. Yeah. Get, get involved in a few chants. Yeah, true. Is that what happens in the a, States? Yeah, or would that? you take a flare and let it rip? 100%. Prison wallet. In the prison wallet. <laughs> <laughs> sneak it in. <laughs> Maybe sneak onto the field. Oh, yeah. that, that Aussie bloke and yeah, true, go true. after the keeper. Do you reckon oh, if yeah. you did streak or run, not streak, but get naked, but just run on the field, do you reckon you could dodge all those security guards and get away in the stand? Ooh. I get yeah, maybe getting away in the stands would be a bit yeah, hard. But that might be hard. I back myself against Seckies for yeah. sure. Yeah. What about would you be? <laughs> what are, yeah, they are, they are terrible. They are <laughs> shocking. There's like 15 running. Yeah. What about if you're out there in the crowds like, oh, hey, hey, would you like sell some candy yeah, or like, yeah, yeah, like run back at them and just dodge them again <laughs> yeah, just yeah. in case? You'd have boots on for yeah, sure. You gotta if you have the boots on. Yeah, right. if you're prepared well. Yeah. That is yeah, pretty time. Not not too dewy out there, then yeah, true. if you're, it's real dewy, then you're probably slipping over. But yeah, you just got a V line. Oh no, nah, those security guards. <laughs> they, oh, they got no chance. They I always laugh. I'm like, man, they're like, what are they gonna do? I guess they like shout out to them. Not, yeah. not we're not condoning anyone to run on the field <laughs> no, here, by the way. No, we're just yeah, saying no. I always love seeing blokes that just run on and have a go of it. Some of them get some of them do get rinsed. Yeah. Like if you can't get yeah. past them, they oh, get yeah. smoked. I've seen that the this one in the rugby in New Zealand and they must be a, a Kiwi security guard oh, just yeah. drops the shoulder yeah. into him oh, yeah. and absolutely yeah. snaps And they don't bloke. muck around when you're on the ground. No, the elbow's no. straight into the jaw, <laughs> like a yeah. few little cheapies. They all yeah. pound on yeah. them. Yeah. Nah, that's great, lads. We, this one's on behalf of our friends at Sports Ram. So you get a $250 voucher each. I'll send you guys the code. Um, hopefully you both go. Well, this can be used anywhere if you're going, you know, it's obviously there's events in Australia, um, Europe, America, but yeah, Aussie guys based here in Richmond as well, which we love. Yeah. Um, they've done some really good things, and yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited. Obviously, going to America later in the year, but it, the best part about it as well, and this is this is the truth. Like you, when you log on the website, you know when you just wake up in the morning, probably like you're in Sydney. Ah, uh, you know what are we doing today? Well, when you're in America and you go far out, what are we doing today? We got a free day. Bang, sportswhereiam.com. Chuck in the location you're in. So say you're in New York, the date, and then every event will come up. Bang. Yeah. And then you can just go, boom, yeah, click. And idea. it's all in Aussie. So it's all in AUD or you can convert it if you want. But yeah. everything's kind of like towards us. So yeah. they make it much, they make it very easy. And also ACES, if you're listening, 10% off at checkout if you use the discount code ACES. So head to sportsram.com and uh, grab yourself your tickets when the NFL schedule's out, I think it's already out. The NBA schedule hopefully is out soon or is already out. And uh, book your trip now. All right, boys, let's talk a bit of footy. Mm -hmm. Now, my first question is, because we can talk about this now, but when a bloke like Damien Hardwick is coaching you and you've gone to flag as a special connection, what is it like when he leaves? Like just the first thing that comes to mind, like what was the emotion? Yeah, it's an interesting one, yeah. I thought yeah. it was a bit of – I was a bit – probably more upset, but then the more you reflect on it, you sort of think, well, he wasn't going to be here forever. So you sort of have to understand that he's onto the next chapter in his life and same as yourself, you got to understand that he wasn't going to be your coach forever. Well, I was speaking to some other boys as well. They've had multiple coaches and I've been lucky to only have Dimmer. So now the change, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, it could be a good fresh start. Yeah. Yeah, similar like sadness first, like a bit of shock as well. Um, even around the club, like the, fir the first day he was, wasn't was there, it was like something was missing and – it was just strange, really. Like, strange is probably the number one feeling. Mm. Um, but then, you know, two days later, it was normal again. Yeah, like, you, know, you do have to move quick. You move on you? quick, yeah. Um, I thought it would be 
yeah, you know, like it'd be a bit of a burden for a bit, but no, I was straight into it a couple of days later. And yeah, he'd probably be flat with that. We just got yeah. it pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> it's nah, kind of the footy industry, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is like, right. what, you can't move, you can't look back. One, you know, the, the brick by brick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, exactly. he falls off, next one in. Yeah. Or well, what about your standing coach, McQuilter? Like, he, he, I watch from the far and, you know, just watching footy, watching mates, just cruising. But I, I love sometimes watching the press conferences just to see, you know, just the straight bat and the bullshit answers they give. But he's kind of funny. Like, I remember seeing him next to Trent Koch and just taking the piss out of him. I'm like, you don't see that with coaches. Clearly, he's at the start of his career yeah. and he's he knows he's just standing in and probably trying to go for the job next year. But it looks like he's having a lot of fun and, um, you know, off the back of Dimmer leaving at the start, you know, you guys have won a fair few games. Like, what has he added to the group? Has he kept it simple? Is he just, like, letting you guys go? Like, what's, what's one thing that you feel like he's done differently? So, with Mini, um, that's what we call it. Yeah, Mini. Mini, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, it's a good name. <laughs> yeah. Mini. Yeah. I like calling him Mini. Uh, I call him <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's so he then if it's Mini? Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. But I've had Mini. You call him large. <laughs> average. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've had Mini as a coach. So like when he first came to the club and I was there, he was a VFL player and coach. So I've always had him um, as a coach for myself. And then just always, and then if you, as my career progressed, he's always just been there. He's moved lines. And then when he came, when he came in as interim, and as now head coach, it's sort of cool because it's like, well, I've seen him develop as a coach and he's done so much hard work. So now that he's in there, it's like, all right, now he can put his own spin on things, which he has done. There's been some stuff that he's pushed that's his own brand. Um, not that we've scrapped everything that Dimmer left, but the game plan's still the same, but some things have changed and he's done it so well. Yeah, I think all the boys do trust him a lot. Yeah, that's great. It's good that he's kind of done those, you know, stepped up. He kind of goes through, he'd probably understand all the steps, you know, below him as well. Yeah, as opposed to maybe an assistant coach that was only there for a year and then just happens he has to be interim. I mean, he's been there from for 10 years now, so. What's his coaching style like? It, it, do you get many sprays? Is it good education? Is it like arm around? Is it like a bit of good, like good balance? Yeah. Like does challenge at the right time? Like what have you noticed? His balance is what impressed me um, straight away, like, uh, he ticked off, you know, um, we have to celebrate Dimmer because, of, um, you know, but then we have to move on and then we played a game and then the first meeting after the game was whacking a few blokes about some some poor efforts, um, which had maybe been um, coming from the first part of the year. And I was like, yeah, he's challenged us straight away. Like, That's great. I love that. And then um, in the same in the same edits, you know, he was showing the what is the right standard about some real good efforts and, I thought that was unreal from him and he's continued from that. He doesn't beat around the bush. He knows we have him playing the best and we had a lot of learn learnings and he would say them, but then he would also say what we're doing good. So I've been really impressed with, with the way he's been coaching us since Timmer left. So That's good, isn't it? I remember um, – that's one thing that, like, you look back. It's so annoying when they sugar, when they just – like, they they brush over things, don't you reckon? And the, you start, you know, say someone does a shit effort and you know, they just don't play it. And you're yeah. like, just play it because we yeah, know the individual yeah. will get better yeah. and the team will be on alert and it won't happen the next week. So yeah. that sounds like what he's done. He's yeah. just gone, nah, fuck that. Mm. Let's show it, but let's put the arm around and get better. And then all of a sudden, blokes stop doing it. Yeah. And As opposed better. to, yeah, finger pointing. Yeah. It's more of a, no, you actually can learn from that. Yeah. And we yeah, all yeah. can. Yeah. Instead of like kind of going like, be better. It's like, we well, can all be better. Let's look at this. Don't worry about who it is. Yeah. Let's just talk about what we want here and what we yeah. should do next time. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, what else is he like? Does he like, you know, give me, give us, give us all out a little bit of an insight. What is the, what is the differences? Like, you know, what was Dimmer, what was Dimmer's style and what would be mini style if you were to just sum it up? Not game plan stuff, just the way they act and I guess the way the boys act. They're more relaxed now. They're more on edge. I reckon they're more relaxed. I remember if Dimmer was walking around downstairs dropping blocks, just like, oh no, Dimmer's yeah. walking around here. But when yeah. it's mini now, it's just like, oh well, that's what he has to say. <laughs> yeah. And we always like talk shit with him as well yeah. because he's been there for so long. Whereas, yeah. Probably with Demo, it was, oh, fuck, I don't really want to go in his office. Yeah, you're a bit, like, a bit intimidated. Yeah. And he said that on record. Like, he's like, he has this, you know, not to be too close with him because he's got to, yeah. like, drop you. Yeah. yeah. That's probably, that's, and that's the way he, he did approach it. I mean, there's a, what's that movie about the baseball players? And they, like, they have, like, here's, like, a guy on the side who looks at the stats and what they can Moneyball? Oh, Moneyball, yeah. yeah. I remember talking to Aishi Bay, he's like, oh, he's got a real Moneyball approach to it. Whereas Minnie's probably a bit more connected and he yeah. can gel with the players and yeah. he can do the hard conversations as well. Yeah. There's nothing, he can do that really well. Yeah, you've nailed it. I reckon the, like being able to, you know, dim, going past him his office, you know, <laughs> shit myself. He walked past a couple of times. 
finally build up the courage to walk in there and um, talk to him. But uh, with Minnie, you can, you know, go in there and yeah. just because, like, the relationships um, – been there as the assistant, you know, it's like yeah, the assistant's assistants. a bit more, you had yeah, a bit more of a joke yeah, with him. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then he's just continuing on that as the senior coach, which is really good. So um, you're getting getting a, a bit out of players at the moment, I think. Yeah, it's great. It's I actually had a good relationship with Dimmer though. I mean, yeah, no, I, yeah, early, of course. So, early on, yeah. it was a bit like that. But then uh, one time I got pissed with him actually in the Gold Coast, which is pretty funny. <clears throat> him and his uh, partner now, it was me, Dion. I think he's a, okay, where yeah. are you? Is it, is it Rick Shaw's. Rick Shaw's. I think we. I remember this. Yeah. I go, Dion. I was texting Dion. I go, "What are you doing?" He goes, "I'm at Rick Shaw's. I might have even been like around or like going to Gold Coast that week." Yeah. And he, I go, "Who are you with?" And he goes, "With Soldo, Dimmer, yeah. his missus, and was Dusty yeah, there Dusty as well?" And I'm like, "That's well. some sort of crew at Rick Shaw's." <laughs> yeah, rare crew, very rare crew. Yeah. And then Dusty left. I think uh, Robbie was there as well. Robbie Tarrant. He left early because he got a he had to um, look after his kid because they were there just a little. Holiday, which is what we actually planned for. And then uh, Rick Shaw's, it just turned into, I think it was like 64 cocktails ordered. Oh, wow. Yeah. And there was, the porn stars. Did you have the porn stars, the passion yeah, fruit ones? Yeah, we had it. We, we, we drank worked, that joint out of passion fruit once. Oh, good. That's yeah. A good record, it's man. too sugary though. Yeah. Yeah. Teeth hurt the next day. <laughs> That's yeah. a good effort. Yeah. 64 cocktails. Yeah. yeah, everyone blacked out, like, by me. <laughs> I, was, I went upstairs waiting for the next round and realised everyone was dragging themselves home, not knowing oh, how they got home. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I always loved him. I like, I'd say, yeah. Yeah. Who, yeah, who got the bill? <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. there we go. That's the oh. kind of coach you want. I was actually keen to pay for him. I'm like, look, I've probably had two thirds of these. <laughs> like, oh, let, me yeah. pay, let me pay for him. And that's he, awesome. He was quick to out you in the meeting. Eh? Oh, no, the oh, did he, yeah. yeah, then he uses his ammo, did he? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. the thing. I was like, if I should pay for it, so I could use What do you say? Anything for a gag, Dimo, yeah. you know, any little thing to what do you, get What do you bring up the, the next boys. week? He brought it actually as pre game, pre game um, pump up for some reason. Yeah, he did. I think it was in the Geelong game, he brought it up. And I was actually a sub that game. And then Dion got knocked out on the first five oh, minutes. Oh. And I came on. <laughs> oh, I remember I mean, that. Was that yeah. when Stuart got him? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was at that game. Yeah. Because I think you guys lost by a kick. Yeah, it was a, yeah. That was Jez's 200th. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was with him that night. And I remember like, yeah, it was. It would come down to, um, yeah, I think it was Henry kicked a goal on the goal yeah, square. It was, yeah. it was a good game. Yeah. yeah it was a good, very tight game. So he used that pre-game. I mean, that's pretty good. I love the way, like, because he's probably got a tactic there. He's like, I'll oh, relax the boys with a little bit of a gag and yep. take the piss yeah. out of the boys from Rick Shaw's. Yeah, he, yeah, he does that every pre-game. He'll do that. A lot of screenshots of text as well. He always yeah. brings that up as pre-game. <laughs> so you almost got to go to him face to face so he can't get Yeah, Exactly. What right. I do love about Dim, I mean, clearly you've got to love him, respect him. He's done so much and mm. turned that joint around. Um. But I used to give you an Essendon supporter. It's like, he used to love these hardest nails in yeah, the back. There's yeah. something about back pocket blokes. They just, I don't know, they, they seem to get a good record. I reckon they go all right as coaches. Yeah. They yeah. must know. They roll their hands up the finger. You know, they just, yeah. maybe they see the game well. Not yeah, like a not, four. Not flashy. Uh, yeah, not as flashy and yeah. pretty. Like, get the fundamentals right, boys. Well, that's what Dimo is. Um, apparently, he was a hard and I didn't see much of him. But, like, that's the way he coaches. Like, yeah. Hmm. A, a contested, hard footy, you know, like. Like what I heard he was as a player and it, and it worked for him. Mm. Works for him. Funny when he would, thinking about that, the amount of times he'd stop training because someone wasn't going hard enough or we were going too soft. At training? Yeah, he'd just spray everyone. It's like, okay, we have to go a bit harder here. Yeah. What was the clip there? I saw one of the boys cleaned him up at training. Oh, that Bolter. Was, Bolter. Yeah, Did the boys take the piss out of him for that? the only one, I reckon, on the list that yeah. would yeah, have that. the balls to do that. And then share the story again. Yeah. Oh, mate, you can't do that. And like, have you heard all that um, about Dimmer's like back? He's on the... Medical marijuana or something. I saw him pre game yeah. talking about so it on the medicinal. I think his back's like cooked. Yeah, cooked. So and that is, hurt. It. And it was real bad at that time. And Bolter just dropped the shoulder in, decked him. He went him. home early. Actually. Yeah. yeah, he went home early. He was a bit, oh, bit wow. sore after that, but like, you know, that, Bolter that was doesn't a pretty, care. Oh, Bolter, the crazy yeah. creation, mate. He doesn't care. Yeah, he's he does a, and he's, he's a big boy. Yeah, he's yeah. a big boy. He's a, yeah. I've heard rumors he's a beast in the gym. Is uh, he the one? He's, he's probably the most naturally strong bloke I've ever. Yeah, like been around. Uh, Tr- Rancy was really strong as well, similar types. But Bowles are just like a natural freak. Have you got him covered in anything? I reckon he took uh, that yeah. to heart. He took that to heart when no, I said that. The two Croatians things I would have thought. Yeah. Oh, so you've got him covered. Oh, oh shit. Oh. You're a beast. Sorry about we, me. We've done Sorry a couple of like sessions at mine, and he's yeah, doing the tries. So yeah. man, I can't even bench press that much. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The bloke's throwing around that much tin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be going back, mate. I'm yeah, I'm ready to go. Yeah. I'm ready. I've been in the gym the last few months and preparing for this this uh, Croatian trip. Gave oh, the uh, gave the chest gave the, gave the chest and the body a bit of a clip. You know, <laughs> yeah. just gives you a couple bit. You know, a couple abs up the top. Get the feet on. Know. Get the feet on. I reckon the hair removal cream. I reckon that's it. the go. That's isn't the go. Yeah, because it gets it comes back thicker. I'm not that hairy, but I reckon
I'm just scared hair removal cream. I'll touch my eyebrows or something and, oh, and then yeah, they'll yeah. go missing. Yeah, people, when I first did, I was worried as well, but nah, just, and it, you can just wipe it off straight away. If you leave it on for longer than six minutes and it starts to So burn. what do you do with hair removal cream? You just, like, obviously you get it, rub it on all your, you know, your hairy parts yeah. and then just wash it off and it comes off. Yeah, like, you just, I think they, so on the back, well, the one I was using, they had, a, they had like a scraper on the back of it. So you, you try to scrape it off and then wash it after. And then it's done. That's it. So you don't, you can, you know, wash your hands and- you Yeah, can, it's all good. How yeah. long? Yeah, and that's it. First, yeah, obviously first first couple of times I was like, oh my God, I don't want to touch the towel after. I was so stressed, but after a while it's fine. And I haven't done it in years. I laser now actually. Laser? Laser's the way to go. Yeah, laser would be good. You get there. Step by step. Just get, Shave, the, go- like, get the gooch lasers. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> I was just thinking about it, but it'd be the most uncomfortable feeling being on all fours while they've got your wide open. Someone was talking about That's getting their ass me. waxed, and I just thought, how do you get your ass waxed without, yeah. where do you start if you were to go, because there's a couple of blokes that, I'm not that hairy, but blokes that are hairy, it's like, imagine going to get your ass waxed. Now, this is a rogue cop topic, but fuck, that would hurt. And also, oh, what nice. positions would they have you in to get rid of everything around there? You could probably do one of three. You could probably be on your side and then just like- Like the hammy kind of adductor massage yep. position yep. and then just what? Psh- yep. All, all fours. And then- oh, like the, In the dog. In the dog. In the oh. dog with a couple <laughs> of strips <laughs> off yeah. the ass. That would fucking be weird though, yeah. wouldn't it? Like, oh, where do you line it up to get like, hey, how you going? Can I get me Gucci in my ass <laughs> yeah. um, waxed? It'd be it'd be another day in the office for them. It's probably more uncomfortable for you. For them, it's just like- uh, Another day at the office. Like, do they yeah. make you- have a quick shower or something, or like you'd hope so. Optional, yeah, optional like, optional shower. <laughs> like there's some pigs out there. Yeah, yeah they'll love it. Just let's see pigs every day at the club. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I was going to go to that topic soon. We we'll go to the locker room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, there bad. you go. So hair removal cream is better than, or, or even what'd you say then? Laser. Laser. That's, laser's the way to go. But what about same thing for all those blokes who want to get the gooch in the ass, back crack and sack? Mm. It's, same thing. What is in lasering? Yeah, like so they I'm, offer that service. So, like I said before, it's a process. I'm almost at the point where I'm ready to be on all fours to, to get it done. <laughs> I don't know if I'm there yet, but I'm is that a relationship it. thing with like, the person that's yeah. doing yeah. it? Yeah, definitely. I'm sure they've seen it's it all me. before. Yeah. yeah, a few of the boys go, and I think it's you know like you they, they, they follow on Instagram now. The yeah, the, late, the seen a few girl that does it, you know, yeah. and they got that bit of relationship going. Well, because I'm not like, sure they're doing the gooch yet. Yeah, they'd like, be doing the places. That obviously, you strap your shoulders and your, yeah, your ankles. Yeah. They'd be working their way around. Yeah, it. I just do my legs and my chest, stomach. Um, but I did the legs. I started feeding because the massage cream just like makes you get ingrowns and stuff, and I hate it. Mm. And tape as well. Like I'd have no hair from halfway down my ankle. So it's like, well, and that's, I know a lot of people out there that don't play footy listening would go, these blokes are talking some shit here, but they don't understand boys, when you've done an AC joint and you've got to strap your shoulder oh. and your armpit hair is stuck under there and you're ripping that tape off. Mm. It's just like, you might as well get, you might as well get rid of it all. Cause it's, it is a bit painful. Anyway. You're waxing it anyway. Yeah. yeah. What about, did you ever get your pelvis taped? No, what for? I used to get my pelvis taped because I don't know, I used to help my stability of like staying square. But around your pelvis, it's real sensitive skin. So when yeah. you take the tape off, it used to rip skin Splits off. It's it. Yeah, oh, it, like you, so you had to put like this tape down. People that would have done it would understand. Okay. But then if you did have hair around there as well, but it's more the skin, the skin factor. Yeah, it's probably so, it, uh, actually so just, it would be softer. Yeah, it's just reminding me of all these um these places that. Yeah, the old hair removal. There you go. I wonder how many people out there be a good poll on Instagram. <laughs> do you do you clip? Do you like? Do you? I mean, I think shaving is a myth. I couldn't like shaving's ingrown. That's yeah. how you get ingrowns. You're asking for it, yeah. Oh, I've never done it. And every time I've done it, whether it's me face or whatever, ingrown. No, good. Yeah. Clipping's the go. Only takes off. Doesn't take everything off, but yeah. clip. But then we got we're talking about waxing, painful. Yep. Um, hair removal and now laser. Lasers, yeah. Lasers yeah. like the fifth step. So I wonder what everyone else is doing. L- just leave it all on there. That's a that's or a, or just, just go real hairy. Yeah, yeah, hairy. That's me. Or you can actually use this thing called an epilator, which is like I haven't even heard of it, but it's it's this machine that pulls the hair out and it just like rubbing it. It's almost like a clipper, but it pulls the hair out from the root. Wouldn't worst that, thing, wouldn't worst that thing. Yep, sucks. Don't do it. Well, it's like a slow waxing. Yeah, method. it's a slow waxing, and you just end up sweating the whole time. Man, I remember when we were at school, one of the boys. He wanted to get his legs waxed. And I was like, I'll do it with you. And we went, but he was, I'm not that hairy. So I was like, yeah, but you go first. Matty was crying. He oh. was like crying from the hammy, behind the hammies and, the, and like the inside of the hammy. And I've never laughed so hard. And he's like <laughs> telling this like Asian lady, he's like, stop, stop. And she's just giggling and just going, Psh, <laughs> just ripping it off. And I was like, and, he's, and he was like starting to get these red dots and bleeding in that. And I'm like, yeah. fuck, that looks no, painful, it's- man. Like and you think everyone, version. you know, some people do that in different parts and not thinking, oh. Yeah. So we did big shout out to anyone out there with laser. <laughs> yeah. Whoever come up with a laser technology, yeah. it's going to save everyone. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, let's go to the locker room. Like you said, there's a few pigs that get around in most locker rooms, <laughs> mm -hmm. but um, we'll keep it the other way. Who would be the cleanest guy in the locker room? You know, when you're just walking around, they always have the nice scent. Soldo, like that. Soldo, like that. Dion, <laughs> love no, that. Yeah. Clean locker, always, yeah, moisturizing. Nice. Moisturize, aftershave. Go, go aftershave, cologne as well. Oh, sorry, um, got the deodorant if, if need be. Yeah. I just need to have a quick one before going to the gym. But Combo as well. Combo's pretty clean as it's well. clean. Taz is all right. Taz, yeah. yeah. It's probably top four. four. Trent, Dusty yeah. as well. Dusty's. Yeah, as well. Yeah. Well, you fit yourself in there. No, you care, mate. Working your way up. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm down the bottom scale, mate. <laughs> <laughs> my my lock is pretty dirty. Uh, I supply the deodorant and the and the toothpaste for a lot of boys, though. Yeah. Um. I'll I'll hang me hat on that. Um. There's always people. Do you brush to the chompers at the club? Yeah, in the shower Just, in the morning. So you get out. So you get out of bed, and go straight to the club, and then prepare your day from there. Yeah, pretty much. I used to do that. Yeah, I like yeah. that. It takes, takes a bit to get going in the morning and then hey, I'm with you. shower. Are you morning people or night people? No, I'm a night owl. Same. Definitely, yeah. No, I'm a bit – neither. I yeah, just, like I whatever can, it is. Yeah, I like getting up early, but like I take a bit, 10, 15 to get going. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like I, I can't sleep in too much anymore. I can sleep in, man. Yeah, me yeah. too. I don't Happily. know what it is. Everyone yeah. always goes, I can't sleep in, routine. Yeah. I could sleep till 12 p.m. every day if you yeah, told me to. Right. Yeah, and then get up and stay up till 3 a.m. That'd be my clock if I had the choice. To yeah. be honest, yeah. Well, that's what they do in Spain. Yeah, they siesta as well. Have yeah, a nice nap, nap in between. It's like, oh. it's like works perfect in my schedule. Yeah, mate, we belong yeah. in Europe, mate. What are we doing here? Yeah, I know. So, what are we like doing? In here? winter, when the sun's going down early, I'm an eight thirty nine o'clock bed job. Oh, yeah. So yeah. maybe I am more the. I think you are a morning yeah, person. Morning. Yeah. 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 Well, you're from the farm, mate. You have to get up early. <laughs> oh, it's the way you've been sleeping up. back then, though. Oh. <laughs> who's got the uh, Who's got the best fashion? So, like, if I was to bring a camera down to. Yeah, you know, the club five days in a row. I would be able to grab photos of everyone walking in like they do. Who would be consistently best dressed? I don't know. This is like a this is a tough one for me because what people are calling fashion, I don't like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Ralphie's yeah. got the yeah. It's more the Melbourne vibe of hoodie, like the, 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 like the newest the, Air Forces. The newest obviously the thick, Torano. Yeah, Torano like, likes the baggy denim. And, yeah, like, I mean he's pretty. Ralphie he, runs too. He's pretty up to date. Yeah, like Timmy's got yeah. like he's he loves his fashion, good fashion, and yeah. and up to date. But it does outdate sometimes. Yeah. yeah, but he's a he's a clean. I would have thought Timmy would be in the clean category. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, probably yeah. Throw yeah. There, yeah. Timmy's a clean operator, mm. the big rooster. Uh, so who? So yeah, so who would be best dressed? Maybe give a three, two, one. Everyone just dresses pretty easy going into the club. Yeah, it's almost of a fashion parade yeah, going it's in. More like comfort, isn't it? Yeah, yeah but I, I tried dress okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not there wearing like Havianas going into the club. So you're putting yourself in. I put a little bit of effort in. Yeah. 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 I think. Uh, but maybe. I'm to say, I can. Does dresses all right? He dresses like pretty, pretty cool for Melbourne. Um, oh, uh, Shay. Shay. Shay's got heaps of swag. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Best hat on. Yeah. Actually, Rioli. Rioli. Yeah. Yeah, Daniel. He, um. Yeah, they put a bit of work in. Yeah, they put their effort in. Yeah. All right, let's slip it. Who's the worst? Oh, Critter. Yeah, Critter. Who's that? Samson Ryan. Sam oh, yeah, yeah. He does not care. I don't think he cares. Well, he thinks he, it's fine, actually. What would he roll in the club with? Oh, he just rolls in these, like, odd-coloured shorts that don't fit, and then his socks are, like, rolled yeah. the wrong way. And with the hole in them, and you can see the hole. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah that's, and they're, that's and they're like, loose. And I'm, just, come, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Socks and there's there. no more cork on the Birkenstocks he's walked in yeah. on. Oh, oh. So it needs a new pair. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just oh. sloppy. Yeah, yeah. And, this, and this hoodie that is, like, it's shrunk in the washer. It's, like, real high at the back. Doesn't fit him anymore, but he doesn't care because it fit him when he bought it. So he thinks it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. He's a tall lad as well, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's taller than me. He's like yeah. 205, I think. Yeah. 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 The taller they are, the more they do. You're maybe an exception, but the taller they are, generally they don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think so. You take Cubs. what you can get when the clothes yeah. can't fit you. Yeah. Kappa's got some horrendous kits. Yeah. Kappa's kits. Who, give me, who's Kappa? K uh, Camden McIntosh. Oh, yeah. 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 Mandra boy, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He wouldn't yeah. care. But he tries. No, he actually oh, tries. So he's yeah. trying to look good yeah. and having a man. Terrible, yeah. He always <laughs> matches his shoes with his shirt or like um, shorts, like which is not that uncommon. But like, even if it's a pink shirt, he'll wear like these pink shoes or something oh, like that, wow. or, or like the the cream, uh, not the cream, sort of like that um, mustardy color. He'll wear the yeah, mustard the yellow yeah, mustard, just like weird top set up surf then, kind of. And what about when he was like? Wearing suits into the club. Yeah, he was wearing like trench coat. <laughs> yeah. like, like, trench uh, coat. Yeah. A and, suit to, for a game. Oh, <laughs> so I, love, I, I, I would love the AFL to do, you know how they do gather round? Yeah. I would love them to do um, 
that kind of vibe. So it's like round, let's call it round nine, mm. and everyone rocks their best kit to the game. Yeah. It brings in fashion brands. Obviously, I'm in fashion with Ricks, but it brings in your flair. Like, you know, you, mm. you being a country boy, Croatian, you get the one chance a year to wear whatever you want, and you also can express yourself. So it's like yeah. an opportunity – to take the piss, but also if you want to dress sharp, look yeah. boss, you know, you might have a few individual sponsors. You might want to rock Adidas, Nike, whoever you're with, Puma, or you're just looking as like, you know, as sleek as you can. I reckon it'd be amazing if the clubs- yeah. There'd be a few boys that would love that, I reckon. Yeah. Especially- did, did they do it for AFLX? They did it for AFLX. And yeah. it was, I thought it was awesome. Yeah. And because that was a bit of a piss take, that, le- that like that never- Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was around for, it was around for a year yeah. or whatever. Yeah, but like at least, you know, I felt like that was elite. Blokes rolling in. I thought it was cool too, yeah. So it has to be like everyone has to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you yeah. can't be like, say the Giants do it and then you boys are like, oh, look at the Giants boys. What losers? Yeah, like yeah. we're dressing yeah, in yeah, that. It's so like, it. nah, we're all in together. Let's incorporate. Yeah. All the fashion brands are probably reaching out, boys. Yeah. Samson Ryan gets himself a new hoodie. You know <laughs> oh, what I mean? Which he needs. Which he gets some Birkenstocks if he yeah. needs them. Yeah. Like that's what the opportunities would present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon the AFL needs to do that. What so, about the um NRL July thing that they're doing for the celebrations. Have you seen that? No, I haven't. So I think they're donating money for every celebration and you get to do like an NFL celebration. Like they did the England um, walking the down stumping. the stumps. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's special. Full of shoeys. Cool. Yeah, shoeys like they're having fun with that round. It's yeah, great. and see how it takes away. So let's say they don't have a charity element to it or whatever. Mm. Everyone would be going, what, wankers? Yeah. yeah. But now that there's a charity element, everyone's like, Fucking yeah. legends. Yeah. See how like if you tie it to something, it gives players it like they don't yeah, yeah. second guess themselves. Like if we yeah. just started doing celebrating like that, we'd have Yeah. Like imagine I can imagine you doing it. Like imagine I said, here's the license, go run a muck in the forward line, yeah. bump bikes, clean them up, carry on, get the crowd going. <laughs> like if, if, sure. if you're getting compensated to do that, mate, you're gonna do it and the yeah. crowd's gonna be going like yeah. oh, that's what now that I'm out of the game, man, that's all I want to see. Yeah. yeah, you know when you're in the game, you're like, nah, nah, nah. It's yeah. a team game. It's a team game. Yeah. Fucking oath it is. But geez, get gee the crowd up while you're there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. See, you see, you've seen a few happen at the moment, like on the side, on the boundary line. So someone that might have talking a bit of shit while you're having a set shot. Oh, it's the best. Last year, yeah. Um, who did it for Essendon? But they had a lot. Had yeah, a Langford of, did it. Langford did it. So. It's good. It actually like it look it's probably bit at the time, but everyone's all gonna go on that. That's the ones where like they're chirping you. Like it'd be good if you could go, you know, yeah, like yeah. even just to your supporters and just get yeah, right yeah. around them. I yeah. don't know. I'd love to see it. Because I know in soccer, if you celebrate with the crowd, if you go into the crowd, you actually get a card. I wanna I wanna know if we get in trouble for dive like a card. celebrate. Oh, do you, you get like get a yellow, yellow card? Yeah, you, oh, get, you get like a shirt. Oh right. So in soccer, if you take a shirt off, after, yeah, I mean yeah. obviously a goal happens less. In soccer, so you got to take every moment. But Would yeah. you ever take your shirt off? No, no. What way. about a private deal? If I said, mate, fifteen grand a charity, <laughs> oh. private, fifteen grand. Just come up with that number. Then you got to take your shirt off after kicking a really good goal. Can't be a set shot, and you have to like run around like that and oh. give it five of them, and <laughs> then just, throw your jersey in the ground. Right. I, I wouldn't have the balls. But to like, do that. imagine no that. Ima- but imagine I'd that, love to see someone do it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But I'd I just—that's something that myself. I wish, like, I had the chance to do. Like, you need to be at a big club. You need yeah. to kick goals. You need to be a consistent player. I feel like you'd yeah. be the guy yeah. that could do that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, mate, just GPS you. unit hits someone in the fucking eye. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the GPS just goes flying. a bit of sprint uh, if it's, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. Oh, get, get rid of the uh, GPS anyway. <laughs> yeah. 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 We don't need it though. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. hard enough. I know, yeah. I know. You can only run as hard as the, the ball follows you. Oh, exactly. Oh, well, I reckon that would be good. Um, it'd be good to see. What well, is a common topic in the locker room? You know when you have like, you know, everyone showering and talking shit. Like if there's everyone in the locker room, like what's the <laughs> <laughs> actually, yeah. what what could it be that we could talk about? Um Okay. Well, it's, I think it's the best part about the locker room is just the rumors getting around. Yeah. That's probably one of my favorite things. So just like either oh, start a rumor or it's gotten to a point where the Chinese whispers have made it such a fabrication of what's actually happened. So you could start yeah. the rumor and it would go around and come back to you and then you'd be like, it'd be wow. Different. It'd be a little bit different, yeah. Or, yeah, which is the best part <laughs> about the rumor. But like with the smoke, this fire, so there's obviously a little bit of truth to it. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, one of yeah. my favorite thing about the lockers yeah. is, yeah. We, we've got this whiteboard where um, only like in, in our actual rooms, only the players can see it and, you know, everyone's got a magnet and there are a few markers there and people just pot each other and yeah. make up rumours and make up stories on that yeah. and then people add to it. And, and then you yeah. can all get it again. What's going on here, man? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Geez, Initially, the light bulb was for, you know, oh, who's going to do extras at training? <laughs> it's just turned into something that we just all yeah. take the piss. Got a, there's a blind on it now because some things that are written on there probably shouldn't be seen. Yeah, you know? of course. Everyone <laughs> takes it to the next yeah. level. Shane yeah. Edwards was 
he was the number one Go whiteboard sniper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so he would write all the stuff up there. Yeah, he'd he'd come up with a lot of it. That's brilliant. Not that he'd admit it, but yeah, he yeah, was yeah, always yeah, in there and just like wit, witty stuff, and then get a bit of traction, and then yeah. that, and he's like, well, like what? he said, that just starts flying yeah. around the locker room. Like, yeah, seen, oh, seen that story about banks? Yeah, yeah. And he's the one that's written it. I like that. Yeah, that reminds cool. me of pranks. Have you guys ever get involved in any pranks with with each other? I reckon early on when. Well, luckily now, us being older, but also there's a lot less time spent at the club, but early on, you just had to spend the whole day there. So from like seven till six, and eventually you just start like fucking around with people's cars, like moving them around or, I know sometimes the jokes were taken too far, but yeah, the pranks have sort of dropped off. Yeah. 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 I'm not, yeah. Moving stuff around sort of pisses everyone off now. Yeah, yeah I know. It's phones. a bit of a, if you're not involved, it's the funniest thing ever, but then, yeah. you know, like if you get involved, you know, you're going to get just stitched yeah, up. Yeah. yeah. Um, what was one? I'll never really like think of anything good. So otherwise, I'd I'd like it, but I just can't come up with anything. But people were snipping, were they snipping the, <laughs> the shoelaces? Oh yeah, too, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the bottom <laughs> of your budgies, they just like snip it. So yeah. you, you put it on, it just be flaps. <laughs> yeah, like, so people, yeah, it gets come through. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> just be like Tarzan, mate. That was <laughs> a few years ago. People would get new runners or boots, and they'd snip by the laces. <laughs> and it's just it's just a good guy. Shorty was wearing. Shorty was wearing those um those Archie thongs, you know them? Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he wears them in the shower and everyone was off that and people would just sniff him. He'd go get a new pair. Because you'd tinier. sniff him again. Yeah, he got tinier. Tinier. So he's like, no, nah, I've got to wear thongs in the shower. Yeah, now. can't then, go without him. And yeah. then everyone just started sniffing his, his Archie. <laughs> yeah. Just sniffing the tops of the thongs. Yeah, yeah so it wouldn't work. He'd <laughs> get a new pair. And Last then when he'd go again. <laughs> and then if you go on Who Did It and you yeah. just be like, mate, it wasn't me, even yeah. if it was. Yeah. You'd almost do it, not tell anyone, and it still causes yeah. the same no, drama. Like, he, I don't even think he knew who was doing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I think it was Lambo the whole time. Yeah, though. yeah. Fuck, that's good. Yeah, would Lambo be the? Would he be the one that's instigating most? He's of probably it? the biggest prankster without, yeah, boasting about it, or probably even no one even knows it was him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was his best strength yeah. around the club, wasn't it? Yeah, he was everyone up. starting rumors. Yeah, with a like. Nothing bad, you know, just little good witty ones that um, just get combos going. Yeah, that yeah. people would believe, you know, not too outrageous. Yeah, that's the best. and then who come up with that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kano. <laughs> he's still doing it now. He's just upstairs. Yeah, true. What's he doing now? Midfield coach. Oh, is he? He's going into coaching. Mm. Yeah, he was development coach, and then when everything reshuffled, he's done well. Yeah, so yeah. Well. did you feel like you missed yeah, him a bit at the start? Yeah, definitely. Because his role, yeah. if you played footy, you'd understand that his role yeah. is. Um, well, he obviously was getting 30 and kicking goals at his best, but like even when he wasn't yeah. such a hard working role up, back, up, yeah. back, it's such an important role. Uh, did you find like you were missing him at the start mm, with that, was, or was someone was, replaced? Who, who would you say replaced that role? I don't think he played much footy back into last year. Just yeah. so we sort of, we sort of knew that. Yeah. I think he, did he retire midway through the year? Anyway, well, he knew, oh, it was going to be his last year. Playing, yeah. yeah. And when he didn't play much, so it was going to be up to someone else to step up. And they used a lot of the younger boys, but there's a lot of midfield experience to be able to play that role anyway. But mm. just the person of having him play on the team was missed, I think. Yeah. 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 yeah we always, he was like consistent, as you say, and it was always him for, you know, six years. Mm. Um, but since he's gone, it has people flip around there yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So maybe we do miss the stability of the the one guy. Mm. It's well said. What about um, <clears throat> on-field sledging? And What's the best you've seen? Oh, played with or against? I think Grigor was really good at it. Yeah, Grigor just knew some rumor about the other person and just <laughs> would just say it, but with <laughs> such like not malice, but it was just like cheeky and it was just like enough to get in their head. And it was almost like made you go, Oh, we're in his head now. It's kind of <laughs> funny, but I'm not really one to sledge. I just sort of talk shit on the field, have a bit of fun. Yeah. But never personal stuff. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Like not too much, really. Nah. Um, I used to chirp a lot with. You know, went under 18s. That yeah, kind you're of a waffle. Thing. Remember waffle? You were the chirpiest block. We used to because we played against each <laughs> other in the peel. Yeah, yeah. Peel granny. Yeah. You injured for yeah. that? No, nah, I played. You in, played. Oh, I played in the 2017 one. Which one did we so win? we played you in a yeah. You won that one. We yeah. played you in a final and then in the grand final and you beat us both times. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that year I played. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you were like the guy that we're like we're gonna need to get this guy's <laughs> kicking up goals, but chirping everyone. I think <laughs> oh, someone. I think Daw I think Zach Dawson cleaned you up yeah, in the qualifier. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, we should. And then we won convincingly. But in the granny, we nearly, we only just won. Yeah. But, um, um yeah. Yeah. But like, you were chirping. Yeah, oh, I, I used to love it. Yeah. What were you but, saying? um, 
Oh, just like nah, just like small man syndrome yeah, kind yeah. of shit. Just like yeah. neat, yeah, 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 just like real chirpy. But when you don't know the person, you're like, fucking hate this bloke. Yeah, but he's yeah. kicking goals as well. So <laughs> yeah. that, you know those blokes that are really good, yeah, and they chirp. It hurts twice as much. Yeah, but then you meet him and you're like, oh, I love this fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll feel definitely yeah. that person. I do love watching you run around on the field, like because you know, like smaller blokes, but you hit hard. Like you're like, fuck, yeah. Bakes, he's hitting hard. Like you're cracking in. You yeah, know, said, yeah. it's like good to watch, and it's also <laughs> like I feel like you always get off the say like this is this is kind of like what I love now than just watching because I get bored and you know, I might be watching the game on my own but say you like tackle a bloke and you both get up instead of getting out of the way you'll run straight yeah, through yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I find that stuff back, like just hilarious now it's oh, like oh, yeah just stuff, little but, shit like that mate yeah, it's great yeah. yes. <laughs> um, but nah a few people have got me over the, over the last couple of years so <laughs> you've um, been receiving it a few because yeah. you're such and a like, when they get me they get me good you know oh, like yeah. I'd get them they probably don't even feel it <laughs> yeah, yeah but, oh, well. but if you know the person it's like you, you look like a real angry bastard yeah. there, but yeah. when you know I'm like real happy and go happy yeah. go lucky. It's good. It's good. Um, okay, boys. So we obviously spoke about a bit of travel earlier. Got the Rixies here. You don't, you know, I want to make sure you look good in the off season when you go, hopefully to Cancun. So <laughs> chuck on them. This was called Rix on tour. Uh, I've got you the Melrose Crystal there, Bakes. And Soldo, you got the Soho Dark Green Crystal. Exactly. Bit thicker. Yeah. Um, classics here. Not bad, these. Yeah, you boys have been great. We, Go see a bit of sun in the off season. Yeah. And mm. What about um, Cancun? Hopefully Rick's another, party. Yeah, another no, Rick's party. Another Rick's party. I just oh, left right. a message with um with Nick Russian today. Actually, oh, Bar Bambi, we're gonna fire that back oh, up. Oh, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking like mid to late September. Perfect. Um, and double. We'll try to go bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe less dinner and just more people in the venue. Yes. We don't need yeah. it. Yeah, that was a good last it was, time. It was long, messy. Wasn't it? It that was. That was huge. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was. It could not. Yeah. Thursday night. It's interesting, wasn't oh, it? It was fine though. Yeah, Thursday night yeah. when you got nothing on, or you got something on Friday, you just take it off and you guys are in off season. Yeah. yeah. It works pretty well. Yeah. Um, well, if it's in late September, hopefully. But yeah. yeah. Season's still going. We're looking all right. Kick so. them on for me. Yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. I'm going to ask you boys a question. Okay, so Rick's on tour. It used to be Rick's in retirement. We've changed it. Rick's on tour. This is this this is what it is. You get to take two blokes that you've played footy with. They can be past or present anywhere in the world for a week and you take your Rixies with you. You got to tell me wh- what location you're going and the two blokes you're taking and why. I'm probably going well, I've got a bit of an obsession with Cancun at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm probably going there. Yeah. And I'm taking the the Sydney crew. I'm stealing your one probably. <laughs> Soldo and Naishi. <laughs> Bang. Just every day, relax in the morning, get going by lunchtime again, just chirp the whole time. <laughs> Shit door. <laughs> that Deleting. Is, <laughs> dele- you, that is what he, it's actually something you're like, get this, delete that. Yeah. I already had like three espressos, yeah. deleted, deleted. Yeah. Del- I said, mate, we yeah. can't keep up with that. Yes, you can. Yes, you, you can, can keep up with yes, it, but you no, you're, what are you, 100 and what? How many kilos? Yeah, oh, yeah 106 or something. 106 in offset. I've tried. You can't keep up. Yeah. Nah, you can't. <laughs> Early days, you look like you're going well, but then, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. To Talk to me about Soldo. What does he bring to the table? When oh. you're in Cancun, what is Soldo bringing and what would Naishi be bringing? Well, Naishi brings just flat out energy, uh, taking the piss. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all the time, no matter what. <laughs> loves copping it, loves copping it from anyone, feeds off it. Um, and then he just brings like the wit and always up to do something. And that's why we, we got along so well in Sydney because it was just we're, New Year's, we're happy, happy to be putting away beers in the sun. And <laughs> yeah, we just had a cracker of a time. It's good when you've got a bloke that just says yes. Yeah. You know well, that's, like, oh. That was three yes men. That's probably yeah. what it yeah. is. Yeah. We'll go there. Yeah. No dramas. I'm yeah. in. Yeah. And it yeah. adds that chemistry energy straight off the top. Yeah. Not like, oh man, I'm not sure about it. Let's just yeah. take it easy. Like, oh, a bit hungover. We'll get a feed. Should we get a drink? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, the good thing about these trips is that we had everything booked. So it was like, we have we have time here. Let's drink. Yeah, yeah. One thing I did bring for this, these boys were also the fact that I could iron their shirts because these blokes have shoved their shirts oh, in the bottom yeah. of their suitcase. And I'm like, mate, we're about to go to the pub. You can't yeah. the, iron, the Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, that was my job. That is brilliant. Bit of leadership, bit of height yeah. yes. as well. Yeah. It does help yeah, having a bit of height. Mm-hmm. Yep. Height. It was good just like taking photos of each other as well, just <laughs> dropping it to everyone yeah. in the venue. Oh, oh that yeah. is a piss off. I've, I've got a mate that's Griff, Griff was doing that. We, we won't yeah. say what he was saying. We were on the train once and he was like, look at this man. And he's just like sending photos of like <laughs> all this stuff. Yeah. It's just hilarious, mate. It's one, one of the funny. Yeah. If you're on a plane, you could do it as well. Yeah, we're right. in the middle of the, the dance floor at, it was still Arvo at the where at Watson's Bay, and these guys that much taller than everyone else. 
So he stands out and he's there dropping photos of him, like posing and that. And then <laughs> they just point him out. And he's like, yeah, it's me. Oh. Just because he's so big and so like and present. Yeah. yeah. Everyone just oh, can you see. You don't realise how big you are until you're outside of the AFL system, I reckon. I mean, you would know when you go out, but when you hang out with guys that are 200 plus, I stand out like dog's mm. balls, man. Like you're literally that much taller than everyone. Yeah. Like, that, yeah. Do you love it or sometimes you're like, I'm sick of people looking at me? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's- You do it's love all, it, don't you? Well, I don't know any other way, to be honest, but I'd hate to be short, yeah. So, <laughs> so I can't say I, I don't love it, yeah. <laughs> what would you love to be his height for a day? Uh, oh, for a day, yeah, yeah. but I'm, I'm happy being short, yeah, mate. Like short, you man. said, all the the big tall guys dress shit, you know, they're big, <laughs> big goofy tall blokes. I love being small. <laughs> what about us sitting down next to each other? Our torso the same height, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Long torso. I'm the yeah. opposite. I've got short legs. I've got, I've got <laughs> short torso, sorry, long legs. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. What about you, Soldo? You've got to take two blokes. You can't take, actually, you know what? You can take whoever you want, but where you're going and where you're yeah. taking your Rixies with you. Well, same vibe as, as Bakes. It's got to be some sort of pay destination. And that's where these Ricks will be going as well. So I'd take Bakes and Nashi. Same crew. So it's a, same crew. It's, it's a nice trio. I think that, I think it's a dynamic trio. Like it's, so Dion, I thought, was in that. He's gone. He'd be the uh, fourth. Yeah, Dion would be fourth just because we need a bit of maturity as well. And yeah. he, does add, he does add a good element to it, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, nah, Dion, definitely. Yeah, Dion. And then from the club, probably Jace as well. He'd be... Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jace is great. Fridge. Yeah, Fridge, um, Fridge, Fridge has ability, yeah. Yeah, who's yeah. Fridge for everyone listening? Oh, Jack Graham. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's um, yeah, he's a good value. He's always smiling, away. isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's loves, part of the crew. Yeah. Loves putting away beer. Yeah. yeah, he does. Just loves it. The leading it. <laughs> and the yes men as well. They're all yes men. Yeah. 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 Great crew. And where are you going? So, let me think. So, anywhere in the world with that, I'm going to say those six people. That's a pretty good crew. Yeah. yeah. So, I probably have to say- um, just Yacht Week in Croatia. Imagine yacht all of us week. on a boat. Yeah. Fuck. Like docking up. That would be oh, good. Be, there's, oh. there's a few more boys as well. Like, there's a good crew. Yeah. yeah. If we get, and this, this crew could be Cancun. So, yeah. Well, see, this footy is, trip. Mm. Footy trip's good, yeah. Well, get the footy trip now. Gee. Yeah. We need that. We need that crew to go um, to go ahead because I reckon I reckon there'd be um, a few things getting deleted and uh, good energy as well. Good yeah. vibes. Yeah. And I don't think it's that expensive. Like, you know, you used to talking about the year. I think all inclusive, it means that when you pay, yeah. that's it. Okay. Yeah. So when you go to the nightclubs, it's a little bit more, but it's like you've already paid for flights and a com. Yeah. Drinks packages and all that are included at the venue. Yeah. And like, yeah, the planning will always happen, but it's just more the money and stuff. And is it, do they, they don't have US, do they have pesos or something? Don't they? They yeah. Oh, man, I can't remember. But I was paying in US dollar in the end. I think they take US as well. And is it like the, with, like the way they treat tourists wouldn't be the same as locals? Is it sort of like that? It's like a tour. It's the most, like it's a tourist place. They're all yeah. over it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The locals are the ones that are like showing you around and working, but it's all tourists around yeah. there. Yeah. No, we got to get there. Yeah. yeah okay. And if you wanted to stay a bit longer, then you go play a Del Carmen. And if you wanted to experience a bit yeah. more partying, Tulum is yeah. like the happening, yeah. but expensive. But you go there and that's when it's like, yeah. Tulum would be worth a look, I reckon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I reckon Tulum like would be- DJs and yeah, that play there, right? Bigger names yeah. and- Festival, But like- Mini festivals. Yeah. But the prices of that joint's gone yeah. right up. Yeah. Yeah, boys, as we uh, like, we haven't, what I like to know, what I love about Milwaukee Tools is obviously they provide all our guests with tools. But this one's the uh, tough shell heated jacket. Um, we know how cold winter gets. I don't know, Amy Tom. I don't know. You guys, when you do recovery, you, do you get the full body in at St. Kilda Sea Bars or you just get the glutes in? I don't mind going under all the way. Yeah. But yeah. We like those blokes. Yeah. I mean, I was born that if you didn't go neck, you're weak. Like you have to get yeah. under and then you can go like to your stomach. Yeah. Yeah. But we were told if it, your heart's not under, you're not getting the full recovery. Yeah. That's what we're told as well. So a lot of blokes only go their hips. So- I mean, this wouldn't apply to you boys, but maybe when you get in the car afterwards when you're shivering and you're freezing, yeah. mm. Milwaukee Tools got these tough, tough shell jackets, heated jackets. So you literally, these have got batteries behind me. So they're then batteries up there. You've got the M12 starter pack. You whack the battery into the pocket, bang, jacket yeah. on. They are elite jackets as well. I wear them all the time. Just a plain black job, Milwaukee, elite brand. Yeah. And then there's levels, one, two, three. So you whack the three. It's like a, you know, a seat warmer, but yep. it's like, it's, it's, it's better and it yeah. just heats your body straight up. So perfect for um when you're freezing. 
So you boys get one of these each on behalf of our friends at Milwaukee Tools. So yeah, very good. Thanks for uh, coming on. Yeah. Grab one of them. They're in large, so maybe too too big for you, Bakes, and uh, too small for you, Soldo. <laughs> but I reckon because you're lean, yeah, I reckon true. large is still fine. Yep. Okay. I reckon it still will fit you well. So you let me know if it's too small. Perfect. Thank this you. segment Thank here you. is the Milwaukee Tools handiest moment of your career. So you know. This is where you can't be humble. I know you boys are humble when you talk about your footy, but what's a moment that stands out that you go, far out, that was handy. I remember that. And that's one of the handiest things you've done in your whole career in AFL so far. It was this year. I uh, just like the ball sort of dribbled in the goal score and I just hacked the right foot at it and it somehow went in. I was like, I looked back and on the vision, I was like, Oh, that's not something I could do really. You know, so I was pretty happy with that. Watched it a fair few times. That's brilliant. Who were you playing? Uh, we we're playing Sydney. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. The only one I kicked the day that day. So, um, oh, we yeah, love that. Yeah, a good one. yeah, that's brilliant, and that's very handy. And Milwaukee Tools handiest moment. There are a lot. We're banking these up. Yeah. We're going to try to see who's got the handiest moment. So yeah. don't well, be shy. I played in the back line for a lot, so there wasn't too many opportunities to kick the good goals. Yeah. So uh, I'm pretty wrapped with when I finally went forward and, and as managed a, to snag one. And you're a natural forward, aren't you? Like people, uh, yeah, originally, like, yeah, yeah. So when did you? Just while we're on you, but when did you actually go from being a forward to a back? Uh, halfway through 2019. Okay. Yeah. And did you love it? Uh, you get a lot of ball. Yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't mind it at the start. And then I sort of like grew to loving it once I like learned it a bit more and actually knew what I was doing. But, yeah. um, yeah, I'm always a forward mate, you know, forwards. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> forwards are always forwards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so deep down, you're like, got to get out of the back line. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sick of defending. <laughs> so, so as soon as Dimmer left, were you like, Hey Mini, I'm ready to go back there. So, uh, no, nah, it wasn't my idea. So, Mini must have been always in the uh, forward forward camp rather than the back line. But yeah, yeah, that's when great. When Dimmer took off, uh, off, off to the forward line, I went. That's good. great. Did you love that when he tapped you on your shoulder and said, "Mate, forwards this week"? Yeah, I was like, yeah, "Bloody hell, if I'll, yeah. I'll try <laughs> kick a snag." <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. What about you, Big Boy? Mm. What is your Milwaukee Tools handiest moment of your career thus far? Well, I'm not really much of a forward either. I've kicked some goals, some. Mostly just set shots, yeah, just free kicks in the ruck or something, but <laughs> uh, I'll take those. So I think it was 20, uh, 2019 against Melbourne Demons. Um, there was a bandy throw in and I've I've just sat way too far back. So I've had to, the ball's gone in. I'm like, oh, this, is, this one will be short. So I've run in and it's just, it's still dropping short. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to kick this. So I kicked it full volley out of the right goal. That's special. Yeah, that is that from the Croatian. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. That's it was like soccer. It was that was the opportunity for the – Jersey off. Yeah, yeah that is a that. jersey off. And yeah. then maybe even a knee slide. Knee slide yeah. 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 Maybe into the There you go. Well. Two soccer goals. Yeah, they're yeah. rare. They're yeah. rare, yeah. Yours is a volley, a uh, bicycle almost. Yeah. Yeah, and mine was, a, mine was a half volley cross body. Oh, that's Yours brilliant. Yours is nice. Yours is good. That is brilliant. Yeah. Well, boys, um, always welcome back on here. We know you, we, uh, Oh, we love having you guys on here and we'll have plenty more of these, especially off season. Um, but thanks so much for coming on, talking a bit of shit. Hope everyone out there enjoyed it. Got to know the boys a little bit better. Um, all the best for the rest of the year. Uh, looking at the ladder as we speak right now, anyone can, um, anyone can make it. Anyone can get there and you guys have done it before. So all the best, but yeah, thanks so much for coming on lads. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks, mate. Us Thanks for having us. Thanks for the gifts. Uh, pleasure. Sure. And as we know, Milwaukee Tools, if you want to get a jacket, it's cold, it's winter, head online, Milwaukee Tools, get yourself a heated jacket. Sports where I am, you're booking a trip away, you're going to America, Europe, need to go to the sport, sportsroam.com. And obviously got the discount code there, ACES at checkout. So uh, we'll see you on the next podcast. Thanks so much for all your support. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Cheers. Thanks for listening to another episode of Tommy Talks, where you literally can't thank you enough for all your support. Righto, we'll see you on the next podcast. Milwaukee's MX Fuel Equipment System revolutionizes the light equipment market by delivering the performance and durability demanded by the trades. From the MX Fuel Cutoff Saw to the MX Fuel Tower Light, MX Fuel has you covered without the hazards associated with emissions, noise, vibrations, and the frustrations of petrol maintenance. MX Fuel Equipment System, equipment redefined. Attention sports fans, planning an overseas trip to catch your favourite games? Look no further than sports where I am. They've got it all. League schedules, trustworthy tickets, and over 200 cities to choose from, all conveniently on one website. 
Plus, as an Australian company, they know the importance of great customer service for those long haul journeys. So visit sportswhereiam.com and start planning your dream sports trip today. Sports Where I Am, your ticket to an unforgettable sports travel experience.